<laughs> that was a little close. from the store I got some clearance Christmas things got some Valentine's decorations I'm so excited it's always really sad every time you have to put away Christmas so this year I'm going all out for Valentine's Day I'm super excited Super excited. All right, let's decorate. Well, my Walmart run was successful. I got lots of clearance, 75% off Christmas things, things that I always need the next year and evidently just don't have them on hand, like more sprinkles or more bows or fuses for the Christmas lights. So I picked these up super, super cheap this year after Christmas. Um, I try to do that every year for a few items, but this one was um, really cool because I found some pretty cool neat things. There weren't very many Valentine's items at the store yet, but I picked up a few home decor things. They mostly had the little greeting card boxes for school and all that, so I had the girls pick out theirs nice and early. I was kind of nervous about having this white table runner on the table where we eat our dinners because um, I feel like it's going to get really dirty really easily, but we'll give it a go, see what happens. I also have a super cute cake plate to display items and these little Happy Valentine's Day signs to put under the bar. I'm so in love with these simple little decorations. They're so cute. I have some more coming on Amazon in the next few days, so I'll be excited to show you all those as well. My table's looking great. These little simple touches add just enough holiday cheer since we have to go ahead and put away our decorations for Christmas. For years I've been dreaming about a craft room and office that is actually organized and functional and my craft room and office has been the opposite for years so I decided since it was a cold and kind of yucky windy weekend um, we were going to take on my office and craft room try to figure out something I had done some research and had gotten on Pinterest to see what I could do to use this space. And I decided on a pegboard. So me and Autumn drove to Lowe's um, in Kerrville and picked up some supplies to paint the pegboard, um, make this little white desk that um, is attached to the wall on the side with, which you can see is holding my sewing machines and crickets and supplies there. Um, we attach that onto the wall and then um, we figured out how we were going to put this pegboard on. Uh, it took us quite a while to figure out exactly how we were going to do it. I didn't want to scratch up the wall 
with the pegs sticking through so we had to get wood that was thick enough and um, <laughs> Caleb kept saying how much he hates wood because he's used to working with metal and doing a lot of welding so um, he kept splitting the boards so I had to convince him to drill some pilot holes and uh, we were able to get those pieces to anchor it into the studs set up and hang that big pegboard up. I thought it looks really great already but I thought maybe later on I will get some crown molding and paint it a nice color to make a faux frame around it kind of like a picture frame but one step at a time one weekend at a time I'm just really glad to have been able to put a few of my craft items in the containers that I purchased um, I was really trying to figure out what I was gonna put in each thing um, and it's it was harder than it looked um, <laughs> I sat down and organized all the pencils sharpened everything um, got old markers worked out thrown away figured out which pens were still working and cleaned all that stuff out um, but we got it done finally <laughs> and it was nice to have it have it all done and up and running I'm still scouring the internet and Pinterest trying to find out the best method for um, organizing all the fabric that I have. I have tons of fabric from the days where I had my ring sling making business and I just would love to get it better organized and I'm not really sure how to do that. So if you have some um, suggestions, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. How should I either display my fabric or maybe put it on some sort of shelf? Right now it's just in these plastic bin drawers and I'm kind of over the plastic bins everywhere. They're taking up a lot of floor space and we have a lot of wall space that I want to try to utilize. Um, I also want to just have more desk space so we're going to probably try to do more of these little um, floating desks that I created on um, my left side there. Yeah, it'll be it'll be nice to see what we come up with. Well, I think this project was a success. What do you think? Definitely leave a comment below. Let us know what you think we should add or take away or anything that you suggest to make organization happen a little bit easier for us. We have tons of videos coming up, including our stock shows that we do every year and tons more travels and adventures and vlogs. So don't forget to subscribe and definitely hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when we post our new videos.